distracted by a project. At least not too excited. gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Out of the way. here somewhere. are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. I should get a photo of this. Guess it was nothing. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. must know something about crap generator tripped I won't distract him for long Looks important. Could really use a cop. Safe houses. Dr. Michaels is in one of these. Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. I hope his ego doesn't play him in the ass. Or us. Again? What's up with these lights?
Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. <laughs> okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What that the was hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time Wait, to go. No, he knows something. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Right. You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Let's get Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. But I can't let the demons kill him. A couple more cool outfits and we can start a pro wrestling league. Backing you up, sport. This is 
Stable control. Requesting status report from Lower Chinatown. Over. Checking heavy fire from demons at checkpoint Delta. Turns into a massacre. If this is over a parking space, it would be so New York. Rockets! Let's talk about Halloween, folks. It may be good fun for the kids to dress up as a cowboy or astronaut or ballerina and trick-or-treat, but this trend of grown adults glorifying the likes of Spider-Man by dressing up as them is especially, in the times we live in, disturbing. What say you, Gino from the Bronx? Yeah, well, I get your point, but my girlfriend got this sexy Spider-Girl costume, and it really spices things up, you know what I'm saying? Huh. I most certainly... J. Jonah Jameson is not one to be judgmental, but you, sir, are an extremely disturbed man! Goodbye! Uh, uh, Spider-Man, the situation's under control. Just keep him busy, but I'm catching up. Let's see where she hit this time.
Cornelius Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one-of-a-kind valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? Would you look at that? Half the crime towers back up... When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Looks like I could optimize this power relay.
Nice. Okay, what next? It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag.
I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Hmm. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. If we're not careful, 
An intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few... Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye! All units, receiving reports of a robbery. Suspects are armed. Need immediate response in Chelsea, over. Fisk brought all the small timers out of the woodwork. Keep it straight.
thank me, stable dudes. Although it's kind of rude you didn't. Demons are after me. The safest thing for bystanders is if I split. What are you doing here? just made your last mistake, honk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. <laughs> a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Ryan on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> The other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can do it. <clears throat> oh, sh... S sorry No, no. No. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. 
you know, anytime. I just punch Spider Man. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would've bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Keep moving. Keep moving. Farmer's market. Huh. Hacking app. I wonder if it still works. Uh-oh. Kidding me? It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. He just needs to isolate the drone signal. Wow, that was too easy. Have you seen him? I can't believe Sable systems are unsecure. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Think I'll stay clear of those guys. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Okay, time to move. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I can go under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. We'll get through this. I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. I'm seeing, I'm seeing death of dead demon faces. You know what? I'm just gonna just keep breathing. I'll be back soon, Mr. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no. I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place? Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <clears throat> oh, hell! 
Damn hunk of junk! Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it! Time! Get it! Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. All right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerged that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? Way to have the kids back. I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. Ah, uh, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. You know, global pandemic, end of the world, that kind of thing. Why did I even ask?
Sweep it off. Officers, pull your wounded back. I'll handle this. are total fanatics. Can't believe how loyal they are to Martin Lee. Bowery, but where's Dr. Michaels? We're ready for you, Dr. Michaels. Is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry. We're the best in the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Code 381. Package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? Yeah, sure you do.
Yuri, I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. Four units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank. Whatever. the guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. and he will destroy all sinners! Sorry! Lee, hand it over! To be honest, I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. Officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. And Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture, in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. 
I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! One way or the other, you will join me! Uh-oh. All the souls you've lost! The innocent victims you couldn't save! Martin! Their blood is on your hands! You can stop Osborne! You have so much strength! I can give you the will! Killed the cutter, and you did nothing. I can't save everyone. What's one life? A simple trade. One life for a city of souls. You defend Osborne while he sits in his ivory tower. This isn't real. Show me your true strength. Kneel <laughs> before me. I will pull your mask off and expose you. The shadows are sworn to me, and I will give them strength! Mask! I can destroy the mask! Stop! I won't abandon you in the darkness, Martin! I will break you, and leave you brain dead! You can't! You can come back to the light! How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. Where is the serum? I'm gone. That is Goya. So-called superhuman. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. You really need two of those? Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way.
Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbyes. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But Lee's actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city from our mistakes. <laughs>